What is up YouTube and welcome to this Flash video. So we had some really, really cool scenes in the last episode of The Flash which were absolutely stunning. So the Wrath of Savitar is a very, very big thing, a very, very real thing for Team Flash and the identity of them, or Savitar at least, is the biggest thing since sliced bread. And, well, people are suddenly starting to lean towards Wally being Savitar, which would be an interesting thing to do. But I'm going to take a look at another theory. A theory that H.R. Wells be Savitar. So not, obviously, our Wells from Earth 2, our funky drumstick waving dude from Earth 19. So let's take a look at just what is going on. Now, what is interesting here is that, well, the language used on the last episode of The Flash by Savitar is incredibly intriguing. So he states that, well, he loves a good myth. Well, who else loves a good myth and a good story? Well, it is our friend HR, of course. Good old HR, as in good old JR. Well, who has been writing a story? Well, it's HR. So what is intriguing here is that he is writing this huge story, and maybe this is looking too much into it, but he does love a good myth, good story. Very, very intriguing there, and who else to write a story about what's going on or what has transpired than HR, who is there front and centre, and maybe a accident has turned him into what he wanted and that is a speedster, perhaps. Now, what's also interesting as well is that, well, HR calls Wally Wallace, which is a very interesting way of addressing Wally, to be honest. It's something which is more of a term of endearment, or the fact that he is more familiar with Wally than, well, most people. And it does seem like he has a very, very big obsession with Wally West. Now, it, what's intriguing me is the fact that HR was the one that trained Wally, took a very special interest in Wally for some reason, which I'm not really sure why. It's very, very strange to say the least, but Wally is also key to heading into the territory for Savitar and key to all of his plans, which I really don't understand. But could it be that HR knew all along? He knew all along that Wally would be key, and this is nearly merely him being or acting retroactively. Now, this theory is very, very interesting, but one problem with it is the fact that, well, in season one, that entirely revolved around the HR fake reverse flash etc madness so it's pretty interesting to see if they do go that route i don't really think that they will do it this way but i do think that hr is well destined for the chop at some point or there is more that meets the eye with him because i really kind of don't trust him a lot to be honest he's hilarious and fun to watch but i really want to know what his shtick is what are those drumsticks that he's always having around, always have with him? It just seems very, very odd to me that he's gone this route. And, well, he's so eager to help Team Flash, but despite not having really any discernible skills or talents to put towards the team. Now, this could be reading too much into it. I don't really think that this theory really will come to fruition, but I thought I would share it with you guys and see what you thought of it, and see if you thought it would be an interesting way of doing things. But that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do check out the rest of my content on my channel. There's a lot to watch if you're a new viewer, so if you're new, please do drop that subscribe, and of course, please do drop that like as well. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.